is 1.58 p.m. Eastern Time, 14th of November, Thursday. Uh, this is a disclosure. Please read it. Uh, I'd like to cover today what is the difference between a swing trading and a scalping and the signal entry we have. Uh, now we are going through the Christmas and uh, we're the closer we are to the Christmas uh, You cannot trade anymore whether you are an auto trading or a manual trading uh, If you're not experienced enough, uh, then uh, it will be better off to start uh, fresh next year so when when the market like now around the holidays when the kids are out of uh, uh, the school summer holidays winter holidays especially around the summer between the thanksgiving all the way to new year eve there is a lot of days during the year where uh, you cannot swing the market because when the kids are out of the school usually the market gets flat somehow okay but what i want to show you today i don't want to cover it chart by chart because now in the last half an hour the market moved a little bit but we cannot take a chances on a swing swing trading when the market is not moving so uh, for for a guy want to try his luck in the morning he can start at 9 30 if this market is moving then it's okay to take one or two trade if this one two trade in the morning did not make it then you stop it because there is really not much and um, uh, to do, especially if this market is not moving. But what I like to show that um, uh, traders in uh, 2018 and in 2017, simply you cannot go on a one wheel in this market. Uh, it is a uh, very advisable uh, for a guy. We're not asking you to sit behind the computer for many years trying to learn the market but it is very smart to uh, start your auto trade uh, from uh, 8 30 in the morning to 9 30 on a sim and then uh, you can see what is moving what instruments is moving uh, is a good day to swing trade or a scalping which you have in your package all of them and i would like to cover some of it uh, i like to cover when the market is moving uh, that we have seen that the swing trading really it is superb and uh, it takes one or two trades a day to achieve your target and then it's over so uh, let me cover one piece at a time this is uh, the a swing trading and all of them come in in one package the swing trading the idea is to when the market on a normal days when there is no holidays you start exactly at 9.30 from Monday to Thursday. Friday, you need to start a bit earlier. And we take one or two trade, and we should be catching the trade, the trend within a couple of three trades max. At the same time, the swing trading has a very minimum stop loss, and the entry is superb. So it is very well filtered entry, very nice uh, on the trade, and then... Uh, you just, if this market moving, is moving. If the market is not moving, then we stop it. Uh, the different, but this is the swing trading. Uh, here is the scalping. And on the scalping, usually like uh, this time of year, or when the market is very slow. Uh, by the way, none of them require any optimization. None of them uh, require to set your stop loss and target and trailing stop. So all of them, all our product right now, they are turn on, turn off. Of course, we have some other products. Uh, probably we will be taking them out because uh, they require optimization and require to tweak the auto trade. So we are concentrating this year on uh, uh, the, the ones they do not they do not require any optimization trail and stop target we are going in that direction so here is the difference between when you are trying to swing the market and scalp the market and i was a very uh, surprised that a lot of traders they don't understand what is a scalping they think is it just a scalping the name of an auto trade where uh, I'm, I'm really i was really surprised 
scalping uh, it is a require uh, a smaller movement lower movement and then uh, with a limited order or if you want to you can put a market order but I prefer on the scalping the limited order even if you miss a trade is no big deal because if you miss that trade it could be losing or a winning trade I prefer limited order on the scalping and a market order on the swing trading and uh, those uh, they come in both in uh, version 7 NT7 and they come in, in on uh, NT8 so you will have both of the license for NT7 and NT8 <coughs> excuse me so on the on the scalper on days like this all the way now till the end of the year the scalping uh, require um, slower movement easy like now steady and you can see they shine they they really get filled nicely slowly and they exit on a small trades and this is what is a scalping uh, and uh, simply you cannot scalp the market when the market is moving extremely fast or there is a news making the market uh, moving fast and then this is not your best product to to scalp the market but it you will be better off to be uh, swing trading now uh, you cannot say it's confusing between a scalping and a swing trading if you wanted to take uh, that business to next level and you wanted to build consistency you have to put some time in it uh, every day from 8 30 to 9 30 every day to see how this market moving and what is required in the market it comes in a season in the market today is not moving tomorrow is moving we cannot say uh, the market is uh, only going one direction because the market every day comes in in a different color and and that it is important whether you want to brush it off you don't want to listen to this or you do if you're trying to be serious in this business you simply cannot pull off that market under one tools is impossible you have to have the option to from manual trading to auto trading to scalp to swing trading and that's why I like to cover this because sometimes you hear people say I want the scalper or I want the swing trading yeah but what you what you're gonna be doing if this market not trending then you're gonna blame the auto trade is not making money how the auto trade is gonna make money when the market is flat how you gonna get hair out of a bullheaded man when he has no hair so I know it is easy to say that auto trade didn't make money or that auto trade didn't ma make money but this is not this is about you have to look at the market for one hour you don't have to be brilliant trader but at least you can see on the sim what is moving what is making money on the sim and what is not making on the money on the sim and then you you aim and then you you you, you start uh, using the tools you have if you think you can run that market under one wheel one tool this is not gonna happen folks honest to God it's not gonna happen so that's why you have to have everything in here and I will go in this in a little more details and here is the third product I like to show <coughs> this one here is the automatic swing trading and the automatic swing trading if you notice where it says the buy signal here and we have a buying signal today at uh, we are using the newer contract on the CL for that system right now is 5687 and then you have the re-entry and this one here is a uh, based on the price action you don't have to click on top and the high the bar you don't have to do anything It's only fully automated and then it gives you the trailing stop and the target and where you want it to and then extremely extremely accurate fibs 
and it tell, it telling you where you need to stop and, and also where you can reverse the market. So this is a very clean chart. And then on the left corner here, there is another system is giving you the details on the high time frame and the buyers and the sellers and the institutionals and the retailers. Where is the buyers over the sellers? And then you have two different market analyzers and then you have a technical signal separate from that system here. And it is calculating all your basic indicator from the volatility to ATR to MACD. Uh, all this is calculated in one puzzle and then uh, ignite a signal for you. So that system here separately can uh, give you signals. And then another separate system on the right hand side is telling you where is the entry fibs and the trailing stops are not dummy trailing stops. They are based on a fibs. They are based on moving fibs. They are based on a high time moving fibs. So this is a very accurate for a pullback re-entry and a target. Let's uh, look to another uh, pr uh, instrument. If we are looking at the ES, And then we can see on the ES now, it looks like we have a new signal on the ES. And uh, there is uh, the line here blocking the, the, the tax, but you can also adjust it. But it tells you where is the safe entry to hit the target. And then if the market pull them back, it tells you where you need to re-enter the market. At the same time, the signals uh, comes with the three different auto trade. It comes in with two different ATM. The ATM, let's take a look at picture here. The ATM take all of them. They take the same signal. One is a fully automated. You just turn it on and off. One you can use your own ATM with your own stop loss and your own trailing stop if you want to. And then the second ATM uh, put the entry and immediately put it where is the target and then your trailing, trailing stops follow those two indicators here and then your trailing stops is exactly like how you're looking at it at the system here then your ATM follow your FIPS your target by itself and then buy an order and then on the automated also we have additional uh, trailing stop for safety for the trader that version it will be released the newer version it will be released very soon at the same time it is a very nice um, feature here on the dome where you can flip between the es cl and euro if you want to uh, i don't have the euro chart here yeah but what what is nice about it also uh, can give you the full details if this market is trending on the dome. Tells you where is your trading stop. Uh, telling you also there is a scanner on the dome telling you when the market is trending. That can give the trader a little bit more um, um, ease if he is on a live trade and he's thinking about uh, exiting or staying on the, that trade. That can give him a little ease out and a signal uh, telling him if he needs to stay he is on the right track uh, and also we have put an, ad an additional feature on the newer one like on the euro dollar right now we have the we have a pullback but you can see we missed a little bit on the target and there is a pullback and it's coming to that number here 95.9 and the probability the market is going to reject and going back to the target. So also this is a very simple, nice, clean chart. And this is based on strictly price action. Strictly price action it comes in with the three different automated trade. If we are looking at the market analyzer, those are your basic, the gold, 30-year treasury bond, ES, DAX, NASDAQ, YMCL. Those are the basic. At any given time, at any given time, on that one here, 
if we notice on the top, a total of, right now, a total of takes, when it takes, for the last signal, not all day long, the last entry signal, the last signal we've had now, the total is 296. It tells you where it enter, what number, safe entry for re-entry, entry, uh, uh, trail and stop, tra and then the target, and then your PNL, and then your stop loss. And all of them here, the market analyzer, based on one minute, and based on one contract only. The same thing you can do on the Forex is the same principle. You can use it for a Forex or you can use it for stocks. So let's go back to the older one, to the other system. So the option is we have the entry signal and we have the scalper and those are the scalpers. So if on a, on a slow day, I can scalp the market on a good day, on a normal day, I can swing trade or I can use that system if you are interested in learning a little bit about the market or you like to take some manual trade or you like to get second opinion on your trade and see where is the trailing stop where is your target this is is pinpoint where is your target uh, some traders have a problem with uh, uh, the target some people have a problem with the entry some people have to i mean traders they come in with the different colors but we give the option for the traders you have a three auto trades on this one the same entry the same signal but a different type of trailing stop we can put it this way uh, then we have the scalpers and you have the a and a b scalper and uh, they are uh, they are extremely uh, very good if you uh, want to trade out of the normal hours you can do that or when the, the market is not moving uh, it is a pretty good an idea to auto trade with the scalpers you just need to turn them on and off that's all what you have to do and then you have uh, the swing trading also uh, can be used on a normal day so what we have done we have give uh, plenty tools beside all the other stuff we have i cannot cover everything but especially for the guys who want to auto trade we have give you the price action we have given you the swing trading and we have given you the scalping so if you wanted to take it serious with this business it require from you not to just my software or anybody's software you just simply cannot shoot blind you know you have to be a little bit going one hour earlier kicking the tires to see what's going on and then you decide look maybe today there is a chop on the es maybe i will take a nasdaq it seems like the nasdaq is running or you want to take the cl it's fine whatever uh, you are uh, comfortable with but it is very important for a trader in 2018 uh, to have the option uh, not to be uh, using one wheel in the market because you're going to fail. Even if you have a template for scalping or, and you have a, a template for swing trading on the same auto trade, it's not going to work. All our auto trade comes with, with, you can load a template, and I will not give templates to my traders because the template can work for a day or two or a week, but then it's gonna fail out. It could be, if you are lucky, it could work for one month, but then it's gonna fail out. Then you need a new template. Plus, when the market is trending, you need a diff different rhythmic for when the market is trending and then when the market is a scalping i mean when the market is very slow you need a different math so i don't see how you can do all of it with one whip for the whole market here 
is impossible. So for everything has to have math. And you cannot use uh, the same math on a scalping to swing trading, and you cannot use the same math to do the price action. As an example, this one here is 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 uh, uh, based really on a lot of high time frame, and the highs and the lows, and the high time frames of the fibs. That no matter how I can tweak it, I cannot have it scalp. No matter how I can, I cannot have it scalp. It will not work in a scalping, because this one here is a swing trading, price action swing trading. On the second one here, the swing trading is uh, based on a pullback re-entry and and straightforward, nothing, nothing else, you know. Identify trend, a pullback, a re-entry. That's what I know has been working since early 90s for me. And all this stuff I have seen come in and go all those years. I still follow that method that identify trend, do not take the first trade on the first breakout, pull back, re-entry. And this is where the art come in on the pullback. You have to identify if this is a pullback or a reversal. If you want to try to learn that method, also, it is, takes a lot of years to learn when to reverse or is it a pullback re-entry that require, so we auto-trade it and get it over with. Or if you want to, you can reverse the market and, uh, and also you can trade with the trend on the scalper. Uh, folks, that's all what we have for today. God bless you all and uh, see you another day. Bye for now.